Hello and welcome to Mofo RC Garage. Today we are talking about wheels. We're going to have a wheel good episode for you coming here. Uh, mainly, these are the Mofo RC wheels. These are the UPWs and the DDPs. These all being the UPW wheels, <coughs> of which there is two, uh, two different kinds of colors in the UPWs at the moment. There is a black UPW, and there is a silver UPW. Let's see if I can figure out how to show you guys these. Without them sliding away. Oh, goodness, there it goes. There they are. So it's kind of hard to see the black one there. And it's kind of hard to see the silver one because this thing will not focus. Uh, back a little bit. Almost had it. There we go. You can kind of see them there. Good enough, anyways. So uh, there's a whole bunch of little holes around the kind of inner part of the outer wheel hub there. And uh, those little holes that are in this part of the hub <clears throat> uh, will hold on the ring of your choice that you pick whenever you purchase your UPW wheels. So uh, in no particular order here, we do have this one here, which is the rock cutter ring. Here it is off of the wheel, right above the wheel. That one there is the Super Duty. There it is again. Uh, this is the Cheese Grater. This one here is the Bullseye. The Lucky 12s. And the Standard Ring. Um, different various prices, just depending on... Uh, each one cost me a little bit more, a little bit less to make, have made. Um, <clears throat> so there is a slight price difference in each of those rings. Uh, the way these hubs work and these wheels work and everything here works together with the UPW wheel you will get a, uh, a bag with the four wheels in it and it will also come with a bag of screws like so in order to secure the rings onto the wheels so these wheels will come in a bag with the screws whenever you purchase a wheel set it comes with the screws uh, if you purchase the rings they do not come with screws so keep that in mind, they do come with the wheels whenever you purchase them with the screws for the UPWs. Uh, the two different color options, basically just black and silver at the moment. Uh, you've got your black outer hub here. And you've got your black inner wheel hub here. Or wheel half, whatever you want to call it. And then you've got your actual beadlock ring. So there's a couple ways you can go about putting the UPW wheel together um, when you're installing them. Uh, if you get a wheel that has a large enough opening in the ring, or if you get a ring that has a larger opening there, you can simply install the ring onto um, the outer half of the wheel. And then whenever you put everything all together, um, you can just use those six screws down inside there to actually create the bead lock for the wheel. Uh, so I'll show you kind of what I mean by demonstrating with this uh, DDP wheel here. So the DDP is just the deep dish wheel. The UPW is the ultra premium wheel. So you got these two halves like so. Uh, on the DDP wheels, the two halves are actually different lengths. Just a tiny bit. One is a hair longer than the other one, about a millimeter or so. Uh, and that actually allows you to decide just a little bit different offset variations. So you could either put the wheel together with your ring on the inside of the tire, wheel half, wheel half, and if you put it together this way, and let's say you know the vehicle is pointing this direction, and you put this wheel together this way, you will have a one millimeter longer offset sticking the wheel outward. Uh, if you flip the wheel around this direction where you have the shorter half pointed towards the outside, the longer half pointed on the inside, you will actually have one millimeter less offset going into the vehicle more. So, you know, depending on which way you put them together, you can either get one millimeter in or one millimeter out, just depending on which wheel half you put on the outside of the wheel. Now, if you get your set of four wheels, 
and you dump them out onto the desk like so and all of them fall apart and go everywhere like this uh, and you aren't paying attention and you just grab two random wheel halves and a ring and you go to put them together uh, in this orientation you will actually destroy your tire when you put them together it will actually beadlock it so tight it can cut um, the inner part of the tire here so make sure you do pay attention you do not want to use two inner halves you also do not want to use two outer halves if you use two outer halves where's the other outer half oh here it is <laughs> If you use two outer halves, you'll notice now you have a ton of room here that the ring can slide around in, and you will probably not be able to lock the bead onto the wheel. So make sure uh, if you start putting them together and you have one the bead does not sit in, and you have one that is super stinking tight and it's crushing the bead and ruining your tire, pay attention, take them back apart and uh, make sure you get all your wheel halves oriented per wheel where you have one short one, one long one, short one, long one, ring. Then you get the perfect amount of space in between there for the bead lock. Uh, you can decide which direction you want to put them on. Make sure you put them all on the same direction or you'll have one wheel inward a little bit more than the others or one wheel outward a little bit more than the others. Um, so just pay attention when you are doing that to make sure you get them all correct. Uh, they should come already put together in the bag with all of the correct orientations so you don't have to worry about it. Um, just make sure you decide which offset you want. Do you want one millimeter offset inward or one millimeter offset outward, you know, negative or positive, whatever you want to call it. Uh, make sure you make them all the same uh, or you're going to have one that's a little bit different. Uh, the next thing we're going to talk about here, um, we already started and I kind of got off topic. Uh, with the rings, you can pick uh, whichever rings you want to run with these. When you buy these on the website, um, I don't have them set up to where you just buy a set of UPW wheels and it comes with everything. So you have to make sure you get on there pick out whether or not you want the black UPWs or the silver UPWs then you have to go in pick out which ring design you like best um, and I'll show you a little bit closer view of each of these you can kind of get a gist or I'll try to anyways of what each of them look like so there's the bullseye kind of up close before the camera gets all wonky and starts trying to lose focus there we go so there's the bullseye ring and that was with a silver UPW. I'll show you a black UPW with the standard ring on it. There's a black wheel with the standard ring. And I'm sorry for the fuzzy picture here. I cannot seem to get this thing to focus right. Uh, there, there it is. Right there. Okay. So there's the black UPW with the standard silver ring. Uh, we already showed you the bullseye. Here is the cheese grater ring and this is a black cheese grater ring on a looks like a black UPW on the inside too and you can see we haven't talked about yet what's in the middle of these but um, you can kind of see the actual wheel here and this ring particularly here you could reverse this one and just have little black holes instead of the silver chamfered holes as well with this one this is the Super Duty ring. This one you could reverse as well. And you could, instead of having those little chamfered dimples in the middle, you would just have one big solid black ring. Uh, and then I already showed you the rock cutter. We'll show it one more time. That is the rock cutter ring. And it looks like it is on a black UPW. So the next thing I want to talk about is the hubs. Um, on the website, these hubs are called MF6 hubs. MF just meaning mofo. Six meaning there are six holes. So they are the MF6 hubs. Uh, there is currently five, but in reality there is six variations of these. Uh, currently sold out of one of them. 
but I will show you the five that I do have in stock right now. So these are the inner hubs that will actually um, lock the two halves of the wheel together and they will also go to your hex. So when you install it, uh, you'll have a hex hole there. You put your little hex hole in there and slide it on the thing and, you know, bolt it down. Um, so you can see there is a couple differences here. Over here we have, I don't know if you can tell the height difference here. Let's see if I can angle it without these all falling over. No, nope, no I cannot. Try to angle it so you can see them. Okay, you can see some of these are longer, some of these are shorter than the others. Uh, in no particular order here we have the zero millimeter hub. This would just be like your standard hub. Um, if you don't want the wheel to stick out really far, um, you would use this hub right here. Uh, and it says it's a zero millimeter. It's actually more like a plus two, maybe a plus two to a plus three millimeter. Just by using my wheels, um, you're going to achieve a little bit wider stance. Even with the zero, it's going to be about a plus two to plus three. Uh, then we have the plus three millimeter hub which will make your wheel stance kind of like uh, about a plus five, right around a plus five, plus six, somewhere around there. Uh, then we have the six, which makes it more like a plus eight. Uh, when you use that hub, you can see how wide that thing is there, or how deep it is rather. <clears throat> then in the same basic dimensions and everything, we have these two, which I would normally have three to show you, but currently do not because it is out of stock. This is the zero millimeter MF6 hub in brass, and this is the zero millimeter MF6 hub, uh, six millimeter, I mean, six millimeter hub in brass. So uh, those great for adding more weight right down where you want it, kind of low. It is rotating, but it is still really low weight, uh, really low down weight. So those are always good if you're trying to add a little bit more weight as well as adding to your stance. You can choose which ones you want make sure when you order a set of these wheels that um, if you do not already have a set and you're ordering for the first time make sure you order everything you need uh, you will need if you're ordering UPWs you will need to choose the color either silver or black then you will need to go to a different item and pick out your rings for the UPWs let me turn this phone on silent here it keeps going off there we go. So once you pick out your wheels, you pick out your rings, then you have to go in and you have to select which hubs you want. Um, if you do not select any hubs, you may not get any hubs. If you do not select any rings, you may not get any rings. Uh, in which case, you will be, you know, mad at yourself or me or someone or the website. I don't know. You'll be mad at something and wondering why you can't put your wheels on that you just ordered uh, because you did not read the description uh, fully on the website where it says that you have to order these hubs and you have to order these rings when you purchase the UPWs. Um, over here for the DDPs, you will need to purchase hubs. That is all you will need to purchase. For the DDP wheels, you do not need to purchase the rings. Uh, the rings are not needed on the DDP wheels, so you can just scoot those off to the side. We do have DDPs just like the UPWs in two different colors, either silver or black. Uh, currently two different colors that is there may be more options soon and uh, we spoke a little earlier on how these offset how you can either have like an extra plus one millimeter or a minus one millimeter from the start depending on which half of the wheel half you put on which direction so if you missed that part earlier go back rewind and watch it again uh, that will give you either plus one more or it will give you minus one more depending on how you orient it the little hubs pretty easy to install first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you line all the holes up right because there's a lot of holes there is going to be six holes in the middle and i think eight holes in the outside that you will want to line up first otherwise you'll get the six holes lined up but the outer holes won't be lined up and it'll look kind of funny so make sure you line those up first you will put the ring inside the tire you're installing it on stick that thing right off in the tire Figure out which direction you want your offset, longer offset to the front or back or whatever you're talking about. Put the two halves in, 
then you take this little hub half and you stick that in through there just like so and then you will take the bag of screws that comes with the hubs as shown here and you will use these screws which are a M2 millimeter screw they are a 1.5 driver such as this one from Mopo RC and you will screw through the holes the six holes here in the middle into that hub which will slowly pull everything together and lock your tire onto the wheel and these lock like crazy um, these are not a inferior hub and wheel and whatever else bead locking design that uh, some others might make and you may have bought them and your tires just don't stick on the bead these do lock like crazy so uh, make sure you get it all lined up nice you know pull a little bit on the thing before you on the tire edges before you start tightening it all down to make sure it's all where you want it and lined up tighten it all down and then you have one wheel if it is a DDP wheel put together um, same thing for these however if you are putting it together a UPW wheel and you cannot physically get your driver in there to reach those six hubs you will not be able to just put the six bolts in to suck the wheel together uh, what you will have to do then you will take your UPW wheel like so you have your wheel here <clears throat> you will put your ring your inner ring inside the tire stuff it in there get it all lined up where you want it um, then uh, what you can do you can actually just bolt this together before sticking it in there so you can line all those holes up again put your hub in here let's say we're using a big giant plus six brass hub on this one bolt your whole wheel and hub together like so and then you can slide this through the tire pretend there's a tire on this and pretend that didn't go flying because it's already bolted together and then you will use the outer ring and only the outer ring and all the tiny little screws that go with it and as you begin slowly tightening these ones down you will suck both ends of the wheel together and create your bead lock here's you know different different variations here of the, uh, the rings on there go ahead and just do that show you how that looks kind of mostly complete ish here and that is with the plus six hub which you can see the offset is beyond the wheel so your hex is right here and uh, your wheel actually sticks out much further this is I'm gonna go ahead and just say the longest offset hub or wheel you can buy uh, when you get a set of these with the plus six um, you don't even have to buy the extended axles uh, unless you just want some crazy wide rig um, you can go with plus sixes or even plus threes let's stick a plus three on here a plus three on here pretty much puts it about flush with the back I don't know if you can see that or not you can see my finger there holding that one in there that is pretty much flush against the back of the wheel so that right there just just this alone with the plus three puts this at the very end of your hex so you're getting a pretty good stance right there that's about a plus five right there plus five plus six this one's gonna be about a plus seven plus eight even though it says plus six uh, it is labeled as plus six just because it's labeled as plus six um, I hope that answers any questions anybody may have had about the UPW the DDP wheels either one of those the UPW the ultra premium wheel and the DDP the deep dish premium wheel uh, pretty soon we will have a third variant to offer of these wheels uh, mainly in the DDP style we will have something called a super DDP which will be um, I'm not going to tell you guys too much about it right now we'll keep our, our lips zipped uh, but expect many many more really cool wheel options um, also more ring designs coming very soon uh, we'll say some things may be made in brass soon other than just these hubs um, so that's pretty exciting hopefully not too far out maybe about a month from the time you're watching this maybe already there I don't know depending on when you're watching this uh, but several more ring designs coming out very soon 
also uh, a new wheel variant closely related to the DDP but we will call it the Super DDP uh, plus I'm gonna go ahead and get some I guess I can tell you guys this I'm gonna get some wheel spacers and new rings so I'm gonna have a four millimeter wheel spacer that will go in between these two wheel halves uh, and it will work for the UPW or the DDP just to make your wheels fatter so if you want a real fat nice aluminum wheel it will also come with a larger or wider rather four millimeters wider ring so that your ring will be the same width as your new four millimeter wider wheel as opposed to shown here where it is not uh, we also do have if you're a dually guy uh, very soon I will have the dually kits for these, um, whether they be the UPW or the DDP. Um, those will be coming along very soon as well in aluminum. So we will have the aluminum dually conversion kits for these wheels uh, real soon as well. Probably, like I said, maybe a month, hopefully a month. Hopefully not two months, but maybe two months. We'll just have to see how long it takes. But anyways, as always, I appreciate everybody watching. I appreciate all of your support. And uh, I don't know, depending on what day you're watching this, have a great, uh, we'll call it um, Monday. Have a great Monday. It's actually Sunday here, but we'll call it Monday. Have a good Monday, because Mondays suck the most. So we'll say have a good Monday. Uh, enjoy the rest of your Monday, even though it's probably not Monday. And goodbye.